Okay, just this. Okay. Len talked about this, so we'll just do this really quick. I'll just take a, come a little closer. I'll just take a little bit, five, like five minutes. Mindset. Let me see, mindset. Okay, don't. Mindset. Tactics, tactics, right? Weapons. Mindset, tactic, weapons. If you take a gunfighting course, they will drill this into you over and over and over. Mindset is number one, tactics is number two, followed by the weapon, provided the weapon is up to par, whatever. If you're in a gunfight and you have a slingshot, you've screwed up. All right? I tell my students all the time, 95% attitude, 3% some sort of weird skill you have, and 2% luck after a certain level. After a certain level. So how do you get to that level? Well, Len talked about movement. Movement is king, power rules. Movement is king, power rules. You might be the strongest mofo out there and stuff like that, but if you can't move, you got problems. If I move like that and I'm just touching you, no problem, you got a problem, right? So let's go to, we got about five minutes, let's go to two really basic things. Everything is predicated on the basics. Master the basics because there's nothing but the basics. If you cannot do the basics, forget about doing anything really, 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 you know, extraordinary, extraordinary, because extraordinary just means basics done extra well, that's it. That's it. Now I'm old, I'm slow, I can't move anymore, I'm blind in one eye, and I got a bad hip. All right, so I don't go fast anymore, I cheat. I <laughs> cheat like a mother, right? And the older I get, the more I cheat. So we're gonna do a simple, simple, simple thing. Okay, uh, predicated by quickness will beat speed every single time over a short distance. Quickness will beat speed. Quickness is how fast you can go fast. So if we're in a sparring match and, the, you know, <laughs> yeah. I can't do that anymore, that's too far from me. I need a taxi, I need an Uber. I need to get closer up here. <laughs> and at this range right here, yep. if I'm prepared, hands up please, those yep. are, I'm here to go, right? I'm ready to fire from here, block it, right? block it. Okay. Like this, if I'm here, like this, and I can go off the line quick enough and hit him, I can take this man out before he can blink, before he can do anything, I am going to cheat, all right? So when does the fight start? It starts with intent and ability. I'm gonna kick your ass, no you're not, because I'm leaving. Right, I'm going to kick your ass. Oh, I believe him. He's close. I'm going to take him out right here, and I'm going to do it with quickness. How do you get quickness? You are in a set. Does everybody know what a set is? I didn't think so. A set, there is two points of set, let's say, in your San Chin thrust. The first set point is here. The second one is here. So your San Chin thrust and your technique isn't over until you're back to a set. So if I like, fight with this guy and I throw a punch this way and I miss and I'm back here, I am dead. I am going in the forever box. I am done. Right? If I throw that technique here and I sit back here, now I can move off of it. Right? Uh, I brought a paper with me that we did uh, about 25 years ago. Five points to power hitting. Right? One of the power points for power hitting is strike from where your hands are. So let me hit on this. If I have to go here and do that, I'm not going to be here. So if I'm set right here, what can I do? Anything I damn well want, right? You can move. So, first thing, you have to move into a set, be in a set. When you strike, finish in a set. So when you're doing your sun chin thrust, back to a set. So it's not hand back, it's here, relax your core set. So now you train yourself from the kata. When you hit this guy, you're ready to move again, all right? So you're always, always, always moving through a set. Move through the hit, hit through the move. Ty does all, right? Oh, let me a shameless plug. Uh, Ty does a class the fourth Saturday. It's going to be next Saturday? Yes. This is the fourth Saturday. Next Saturday, uh, fourth Saturday of every month, where we do a lot of weight to combatives. We take one particular uh, idea and stuff in the class, and we kind of drill down on it and stuff. So we're going to open that for anybody who wants to come. The only thing I'm going to ask is our dozos are very small, that you kind of like email us and let us know if you want to come, and we'll say yay or nay. Sorry, we're packed, but, you know, whatever. So, and we drill on some of these concepts and, and, and stuff like that. Right. Second thing, move through the hit, hit through the move. Move through the hit, hit through the move. So most beginners, most beginners will stop and try to hit you this way. When I hit him, I am in a kill zone here. Whatever zone I am, I govern this territory. If I'm here, this is my territory. If I decide to attack from a different direction over here, notice what I said, attack from a different direction. I am not retreating, I am not moving, I, I am attacking from a different direction. Why am I doing that? He has the temerity to throw that punch at me, so that kind of shit, so I'm over here, I've got him over here. So when I moved, I moved into a set, so I don't have to move over here, wind up and do something like that. So as soon as I move over here, Right? You just move and hit him. And then you're back in that set. So after one more time, I hit, boom. I'm back in that set point, ready to move. So when I hit him, right, when I hit him, my body just doesn't hit this way. My head goes through the kill zone, and I move this way. My knee bends here. When my knee bends here, my hips come through. When my hip comes through, I get time on target. This, one thing, that's another one, all right? So when I hit him, 
my body comes through, now my leg is preloaded right here, I've moved into my set, now I can come back the other way. So I'm constantly moving, does so I'm constantly moving through my technique, back up a set so you can hit again. So you have to move to sit. Number next, right, things have to happen automatically. Right, so you have to have your basics down. So you have to, when I come in this way, those hands are here, my eyes are right on him, I'm bridging down this way, everything's right there and ready to go. When I come over here like this, those hands are right here ready to go. Everything has to happen. So you're training, if you're gonna train to fight, if you're gonna train to fight, everything has to be predicated by that. For example, I can take this technique here, this technique, right, and I can take that technique and make it this, but I cannot take this technique and make it effective, all right? So you have to train that way all the time. So you move through the hit, hit through the move, move to the set, right? Now, last thing, you have to do the technique, right, that's gonna give you the highest percentage of working and the least, the least percentage that when you screw up and you will screw up, it's, it's a fluid thing, it's a fight, man. It's not a beat down, right? It's a fluid thing. You have to do the technique that's gonna leave you in the less position of like getting, getting screwed. All right, so if I, he's punching him and I go, <laughs> and I don't block them, my stance is off and everything else, I am in big trouble. If I move this way and I don't block it correctly, I'm still over here, I'm still ready to move. So you've got to have that predicated inside your kumite. Now here's your first basic technique. We only have about two minutes, so we'll just do this one. Really, really boring. We, uh, we have three basic steps that we use in combatives. One's called a J step. All right. Now you're not going to pick up the J step right away because there's a couple things that have to go into it. But when you do a J step, the idea is crossing the T. Here, his guns are on me, my guns are here. It's absolutely equal and I hate that. All right, so I am going to be here like this. And like this, all my guns are on him. I've got his weak angle, I've got my strongest one. So now when I move, I can go right through them. So when I move, if you want to go this way, you push with that leg. You want to go that way, you push with this leg. You want to go this way, you push that way. You want to go that way, you push with this leg. So you push, you push, you push, you push. You always keep that knee over that foot. As soon as you do this, you call it a step drag. And as soon as you do a step drag, right, you're, you're a sitting duck. Now you'll get away with this stuff until you don't get away with it. You'll get away with it until you run into someone know what they're doing. You run into two guys, three guys, like this. You get like, like a social interaction that you really don't want to have. And anybody have to get wired, because that's a long day. All right, so you got to make movement. So the J step is you push off and you turn. When you push off and turn, uh, I tell this story all the time, the jump rope story. I was four years old, we loved ice cream and stuff. We lived in the ghetto and stuff, so we didn't get much ice cream. My brother yells out, me, big huge stairways, concrete, ice cream man! I come running out this way, he pulls the jump rope like this way, I hit the jump rope and I go flying down the stairs. <laughs> the worst part of the story is I didn't get the fucking, I didn't get the ice cream, right? So when you move this way and your feet stop, see what your body does? So in Sanchin, we step, we use our hips. We use our hips. So when I push with this leg and I'm pushing with that uh, buttload of power, when I push here, that leg drops in here. And it drops in here because I can come off. Because why am I moving? Why am I moving? No, to attack them in a different direction. Let me ask you guys a question. We talked about mindset. We talked about mindset. Why do you put your hands up when you fight? <laughs> no, you put your hands up to kill the other guy. There you go. That's okay. the difference. I tell somebody to move back and block. You know what they do? They move back and block. I say move back and kill him, that's what I get. Okay. So mindset, I put my hands up here because I'm gonna kill this dude. But that's why my hands up, otherwise don't put your hands up. All right, so really, really simple, Dozo. Uh, Don Kumite number one. Right. I come in here and I do this. What did I get? Yeah, so I do this. Okay. So all I'm doing in that is when he kicks, I'm not trying to block with my arm, slow. Okay. My arm doesn't go past kick. Okay. And I just push in, see here, here. I push in. So in Don Kumite, what happens, I come in here, he kicks, and I'm attacking him before he goes. So just a simple little J-step. You can take this and do it all day long. See? See? J-step. J-step. We combine it. We do what's called a snake step. Here. Here. You ever see that before? It's called Q-Kumite number one. <laughs> so, yeah, so now the punch is coming does though. And you're coming right in on So you're moving here, you're popping right in. Does that make sense? And I went really fast, like this is your time. So let's take the last one, two minutes. Yeah, sure. Any questions you guys have for Len, you know, ask him now because you, know, you don't get that much time for him. Any questions you have for me, ask Ty right now and he'll be all set with you. <laughs> all right. Hey, anything you guys want to go? I went through really quick and stuff like this. Len covered all the bases. I just want to go and say, this is awesome, great concepts and ideas. But when you look at your training, how do I do that? How do I get from here to here? When I was younger, I was really nervous with the Super Senseis, and I walked up to my, I got my courage up. How, Mr. Durkett's a bad fact. 
Mr. Durkin, best kids. Mr. Durkin and Yadamidi Sensei have the two best front kicks I've ever seen in my life. Mr. Durkin, sir, how, how do I get a front kick like yours? <laughs> it's all in San Chen. <laughs> oh, thank you, sir. <laughs> How about a clue, you know? So one of the things I've been doing for decades and stuff is breaking it down and trying to get people to understand how the physiology, the kinetics of it move, how it works, and where it is in the curriculum, all right? I said this before and I'll say it again. I've been saying this for the last couple of weeks. This right here is one of the truest fighting styles out there. This makes you an apex predator if you know what you're doing, all right? So again, it's everywhere in there. I don't make this stuff up. I'm not that smart, right? It's all inside the curriculum. All right, any questions for Wen or Ty?